to Shexel tutorial in this video we are going to look at the employee performance appraisal tool and then the master employee performance appraisal log all right so these are unique templates for conducting performance appraisal on employees all right so the master log is actually to build a database of all the appraisals that you've done across the workforce over a time frame in order to estimate trends in terms of how competent are the employees or how are they improving it on their performance all right and again we have the individual performance appraisal tool and this is the tool that you use to evaluate the employee based on a set of KPIs and we have the KPIs that are focused on the technical competence and the behavioral competence of the employee for the purpose of improving upon their performance or for their competence development. All right, so performance appraisal is something that is done every year by companies and it's usually driven by the HR department to ensure that each employee's performance is being evaluated to ensure that we are improving the human resource within the organization all right so this template is very very good for human resource professionals and all managers including safety professionals in order to ensure the quality of human resource within the organization so without wasting time let's get straight into the features now the employee appraisal form comes in two sections so we have the technical competence section and then we have the behavioral competence section all right now take note that this KPIs, you need to set your own KPIs with the employees and this is something that should be very specific to the nature of their work and it has to be agreed upon by the employee with the head of department and this is something that should be on the employee's file to and approved that these are the criteria that you're going to be evaluated at the end of the year, all right? So once you have all these KPIs determined and agreed with the employee, then it makes sense to evaluate the employee based on the KPI. So those evaluation forms or the kind of template that you use to agree on KPIs with employees are the source of the information you're going to use to populate this template. All right, so um, most likely you have a set of KPIs, and these KPIs we've allocated up to 15 rows to um, account for these KPIs. All right, under the technical competence section. Again, in terms of behavioral competence. We are looking at punctuality and attendance, adherence to company policies and procedures, involvement and participation in teamwork, and others. All right, so you have the option to actually review it under these two broad sections technical competence and behavioral competence. Now, take note that some KPIs may be more important than the other, so you have the option to assign weights or weightings to these KPIs, and at the end of the day, the weighting is supposed to be up to 100%. So, weighting can never exceed 100%. Same apply to the behavioral section. You have the option to apply weightings and all of that. Now, take note that responses can be can range from the scale of one to five. Okay, so performance basically ranking is done on the scale of one to five, where one simply means unacceptable, five means achieved excellence. All right, so that is the response that you're gonna be 
providing in here to rate the employee based on the KPI. So based on the KPI and the rating, you indicate whether it is acceptable, needs improvement, achieve expectation, exceeded expectation, or achieve excellence. Now take note that whenever you register unacceptable, you need to, and, and needs improvement, you need to provide explanation. All right. So these are the criteria for gathering more data about the employee that whenever there is any rating that is unacceptable, the person performing the evaluation must give explanation. So giving us a specific example like this, ability to maintain adequate stock level, it has been rated as unacceptable. So the employee is not doing quite well with that. And what's the reason? There's no knowledge of stock management. So we've identified a gap during the appraisal that employee doesn't have knowledge in stock management. So that's something we're taking note of, all right? So given, so based on these ratings, at the end of the day, you're going to generate a score. And that score has been defined, all right, over here, that between a scale of one to five, if employee scores five, exactly five, then the employee has achieved excellence. And to score five simply means that, let's take note, to score five simply means you have achieved excellence all throughout. There's no, no action, no issues with your work, and it's exactly five. So this template is very, very dynamic. The score is five, it has achieved excellence. So let's just bring it back to how it was, all right? How it was, and now 4.1. So if the employee achieved a score of 4.1, 0 to 4.9 then he has exceeded expectation if he scored 3.0 to 3.9 he achieved expectation if he scored 2.0 to 2.9 he needs improvement if he scored below 2 all right so from 0 to 1.9 his performance has been deemed unacceptable all right so this these kind of responses are all dynamic and it gives this with color coding all right so if the score for example is all unacceptable it's 2.0 that is right there 2.0 and as you can see right here he needs improvement okay 2.0 to 2.2 .2, all right 2.0 to 2.9 he needs improvement that's right there so that is the the color coding that as you see right here so this template actually helps you to do more in-depth appraisal and you have the performance score and the overall rating. Now take note that any unacceptable and needs improvement will automatically be transferred here. All right. But before we even get there, all the summary of scores will be translated here and this will be used to create the dashboard. So technical competency, 52%, behavioral competence, 30%. The total score is 82%, and that's exactly what we have here. The total score is, um, okay, so we've not indicated that here, but basically it is 32, 82%, okay? So that's what we've actually done here, yeah? So any needs improvement or unacceptable will get transferred here for corrective action. So the explanation that was given will automatically populate. So that explanation that was given for unacceptable and needs improvement will get transferred here automatically and then you would have to provide an improvement action as far as the employee is concerned. So if the employee has no knowledge of stock management, then of course, the improvement action is going to be ensure training on stock management. Who is responsible? That's the HR. The target date will be set. The date due will be tracked for you automatically. You can assign priority to the action and then whether the action is open or closed. All right. So following the employer appraisal, and the actions that have been identified and being followed up on. We have this beautiful dashboard that you can actually use to ascertain the performance of the employee. So there's reporting of the appraisal, all right? So we can tell that there are two actions related to that employee. One action has been closed, sorry, three actions, two are, two are open, one has been closed. And these are the scores for technical competence, behavioral competence, and this overall score. So this employee actually scored 80, 83%, which is, pretty much a good score not bad all right but of course there's opportunity for improvement and the actions to be followed up on now we have this section which is a training performance and the action status so these are actually what we use to create this dashboard all right so this is how exciting this template is for the fact that you have the option to populate all the kpis that have been agreed on including the weighting so you can actually use this as a guide when you're setting your kpis that these are the weightings that you've assigned to various kpis and you're focusing on technical and behavioral. And the fact that once you provide all these responses, at the end of the day, there's gonna be a score, and this score has been rated right here, 
and it will dynamically update over here as to whether he has exceeded our expectation, has achieved excellence, has achieved expectation, he needs improvement or unacceptable. And then it gets transferred here. Action plan is updated automatically. You need to provide improvement action that you need to you that you've identified as far as the employee is concerned, and then the dashboard. All right, so this is very specific to the employee. Okay, now let's look at this very template, which is the master log. Now, the master log, as I've earlier mentioned, is designed to collate all the appraisal that have been done across board. All right, so same approach like most of our templates we have the table of contents for easy navigation and we have the approved list so this is where you actually build a database of all your employees whom you are carrying appraisals on within the organization all right so the name of the employee the employee id the department the job position and the list of department now take note that the department is coming from a drop down list and the drop down list is actually coming from here so this is the source of the drop down list if you type in additional entry you're able to select it within the drop down list that's right there all right so that is for building a database of all the employees and if we have the performance ranking and the rating right here because we are being consistent with the template that we are going to that we are using right here all right so now the next section is the source data and this is the main database and this is where you'll be logging all the appraisals that you've done for and for all the employees all right so the name of the employee once you select automatically all right the department the employee number department job position gets updated automatically the person who did the appraiser's name is going to be there the date of the appraiser and the, the point that the employee had all right so the points will generate the overall score all right take note that when the score was four points hold on let's check let's verify over here the points was um eight points Sorry, the point was 4.1, yeah? 4.1, the score was, you know, 82%. So the same thing here, if you say the score was 4.1, and that is right there, 82%. So we've already done the calculation for you. Let's just bring back to, uh, the previous data. So we've already done the calculation for you. And once you enter the point, the score is estimated, and then the rating is also estimated for you automatically. So you build a database of all your employees, all the appraisals that you've done over the time frame from previous years to current year to future dates. You can continue to build on this database in order to generate a trend report. All right. Now, all unacceptable and needs improvements are going to be transferred automatically onto this sheet for corrective action. Now, take note that you are already get, gathering the corrective actions from the individual appraisal report so you can actually use that as as basis of updating your corrective action log because once you register the unacceptable it is important that you implement a development plan you can call it improvement plan or a development plan whatever issue was identified you be gathering it from the individual appraisal report you can now assign a responsible person set a date set a next review date this will be tracked for you automatically priority and action status you need to follow up on them all right now, given the fact that you have a long database, upon a click on Refresh All tab, okay, take note that your dashboard will update. All right, dashboard will only update whenever you come to the data tab and click on Refresh All. All right, so this is a beautiful dashboard that we are using to assess the performance over time. Now, we have um, a total of three actions. Two are open, one has been closed. We are looking at all the departments within the organization which department is performing the most in terms of employee performance, all right? Following the appraisals that have been done, you can see that the department that's topping the most is the HR department, followed by the operations department, and then the, um, the production to HSC to technical, all right? So this is basically to look at performance across department because, of course, we have database for all the departments, and then... So we can actually estimate that. And then there's a trend. In 2022, the appraisal that was conducted, the score was 67% across board. Now we've been able to improve further to 75%. So there's a trend analysis on the appraisal that have been done over time based on the database. So you can, if you have a long database or a large database of appraisals, you're going to be seeing a more comprehensive dashboard again you can see the overall score that our employees score across board is currently 
74%, all right? Sorry, 71%. That's the score employee performance across board. We can look at um, 2022 alone or 2023 alone. We can look at all of them all together. We can check by each department, all right? So this dashboard is very dynamic for decision making, all right? Now, these are all the other reports that we use for making a dashboard. We have the all department, we have the employee appraisal trend, we have the employee performance, each of the employees and their departments. You can see right there. We have the ratings by department, you can see right there. We have the action status. So this is actually a very interesting template. Now to use this template, it is very, very simple, very, very simple. Take note that the individual appraisal is the one that you need to start off first by getting rid of all these KPIs and entering your own KPIs. So assuming all these KPIs have been removed, you have removed all this, including the ratings. Obviously, it means there is nothing really to report. Okay, there's nothing to report. And, and it's totally blank, all right? So when we come to action plan, it to be blank. We can get rid of this. Okay, so everything is going to be blank. And when we, when we go to the data tab and refresh all, everything is going to be blank basically and then that means that we can actually you know start to create our own kpis assign the weighting start doing the rating performance rating and giving further explanation as to what needs improvement and all of that and they get transferred onto the action plan log and it's going to show on the dashboard so let's just bring back our data okay and then let's try to um, close close this this page this template we're not going back to it again now Given the fact that we already have some appraisals that have been done on employees, we want to also start collating all these appraisals in this template. We get rid of this data. We come here, we get, all, get rid of this data as well to prepare for our own database. So as you can see, the blanks have been removed. We cannot delete this. We cannot delete this also. Okay. And when we come to the dashboard, we go to data tab on the menu and click on refresh all. And here it's also blank. So there's nothing to report here. There's nothing to report. There's nothing to report here. So we are getting ready for our own data. And take note that before you do that, you need to build your list of employees uh, or have your own database of employees and the department and everything. All right. So let's bring back our data. Okay. So that's how exciting this template is. And I believe that you, you will find value in it. This is one of the best templates that we've developed as far as employee performance appraisal is concerned. All right. So in case you're interested in this template, all you need to do is just come to our website, scroll all the way to the middle section okay, of our website. You'll find employee performance appraisal right there. Okay. So there you have it. The employee performance appraisal and then the master employee performance appraisal log. Just click on each one of them. Okay. Once these pages open, all you need to do is come to the middle and click on download button it takes you to the download page okay but before that you can actually see all the pictures right here same with this you can see all the pictures okay you can actually drill down and see all the features it's exactly what you're going to be buying and then you click on download button it takes you to the download page all right so this way you are going to be finding the video to check further and you know and then you just make a purchase same here it's gonna load and then you make a purchase okay so thank you all for your attention and see you again soon in another video bye for now